There's a strange hint at Xbox VR for Microsoft Fly Simulator. Players are importing Google Mapping Data and Aerosoft to talk about the CRJ. There's some interesting things to take a look at, so let's jump in. Aerosoft are still continuing their work on the release of their CRJ plane, and over the past few days have provided some brief updates on their forums. The latest news from the development team then included some new images, along with a brief few comments. The developers themselves said that the development is progressing well, and that right now they aren't facing any roadblocks with either Microsoft Flight Simulator or the SDK that would prevent or delay the development. Although that said, company product manager Matthias does tell me that uh, Aerosoft are still awaiting on a few bits and pieces from Asobo which do need to be completed first, like the uh, DRM for example. He also told me that the CRJ for Microsoft Flight Simulator will have the same functionality as the prepared version 5 edition. Elsewhere, over on the official Aerosoft forums, Matthias went into some detail on these new CRJ images. Specifically of interest is the level of model details on the plane, which Matthias specifically described as being a step beyond that what can be achieved with prepared version 5. He states that both the shading and the number of polygons rival the best games currently available, and this is an area where Aerosoft really want to push the limits of what is possible. Currently, there's no release date for the CRJ, but Aerosoft continue to release snippets of information here and there. Digging through game files isn't always an especially reliable method of discovering new content for, well, pretty much any game. However, to be perfectly fair, more than once file digging has resulted in proven and entirely accurate details. So this poses an interesting situation for Microsoft Flight Simulator due to a very interesting piece of information found by a forum user, Signific. As we know, VR is soon to go into beta testing for Flight Simulator for the PC, so references to VR are not entirely unexpected to be found within game files on the current build. What is surprising though, is a reference not just to a PC VR, but also to a Scarlet VR. Now, as many of you may well remember, Project Scarlet was the working title for the new Xbox Series X. The implication here is very clear then, and it suggests that the possibility of VR for the next generation Xbox. This is huge news, not just for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but also for the console itself. But all that said, do remember that this is a result of file digging, so for now, take it with a pinch of salt. One of the biggest technical achievements for Microsoft Flight Simulator has been using a real-world satellite imagery to generate photogrammatic cities and regions, and these are extremely accurate to the real world. However, for a long while now, there have been comments on the internet wondering why Asobo didn't actually use Google Mapping data. Well, the answer to that is pretty obvious. Microsoft owned both Bing Maps as well as Microsoft Flight Simulator. But that said, people have now started to import Google Mapping data into Microsoft Fly Simulator. Now, this has actually been going on since very shortly after the release of the simulator. However, for the past over the past week or so, the gaming press have started to pick up on the subject. It's likely then that this activity is becoming increasingly widespread. Now, that's not to say that what Asobo has achieved here isn't an amazing thing. I've said many times before that it's easily one of the most impressive gaming achievements full stop. But the fact remains that people are always seeking to improve things. Now, whilst importing Google Map data isn't a simple task, there are plenty of people out there who have already gone ahead and done all the hard work. This means that there's a whole bunch of scenery packs out there that are just ready and available for download. So, whilst Microsoft and Asobo may not be entirely pleased about this, I can't imagine them being ecstatic to be honest, many people will likely nonetheless see it as a nice option to have. In the video description, you can find a link to a collection of scenery updates then, some of which are based on Google Mapping data, and others of which are not. Either way, it's a very nice collection, so do go check it out. Currently, multi-monitor support is not a thing for Microsoft Flight Simulator, although Asobo Studio have said that it is on the list of things that will be making an appearance at some point. For now then, the sim is distinctly lacking in the advantages that an additional screen would bring. Fortunately then, a new app is available from the app Apple App Store, and will soon also be available on Google Play. 
This will allow simmers to view a map of their on their mobile device that is updated in real time with their plane's current location. Placing a live GPS styled map is something that would be perfect for a second monitor, so this app is certainly making the best use of that idea. For more details, do check out the link in the video description. Unfortunately, I don't have an Apple device myself, so as yet haven't been able to take a direct look at this. That then brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.